Hello friends, welcome to a new lesson. Today we are going to get a lesson on the square of a binomial. Let's see what I have on my rug right now. What is this? Yes, it is the binomial cube. You are familiar with this material from your primary classroom. You have been working on the bi binomial cube, but you found this material on the sensorial shelf in the primary classroom. Today, I'm going to teach you how this material changes into algebra, teaching us algebra in our elementary classroom. So let's find out together. So friends, let's see what I have right here. Yes, I have a 100 square. Would you like to count the beads with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I counted ten beads across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I just counted ten beads vertically. And we know that this is a 100 square. So ten times ten is 100. Let's record this on our paper. Okay, so I'm going to show you something. I am going to make combinations with this 100 square. So let's begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I am going to put a rubber band at 7. And 1, 2, 3. So I just made a combination of 7 and 3. Let me see if I can do this on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So I want to show you something. We have, let's see what shape do we have right here. We have a square and a square, a square and a square, a rectangle and a rectangle, a rectangle and a rectangle. Let's count our beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I made a square of seven. So we know that seven times seven is 49. Yes. Did we just make a square of seven together? Yes. Can I do this, friends? I just mocked the square of seven. Let me observe my other square. One, two, three. One, two, three. I just made a square of three. Three times three is nine. So I just mocked a square of three. Let me see what I can do with my triangles. Let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven taken one time. Seven taken two times. Seven taken three times. I just made a rectangle. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. One, three taken one time, three taken two times, three taken three times, three taken four times, three taken five times, three taken six times, three taken seven times. 3 times 7 is 21 and 7 times 3 is also 21, right? Okay, let's see what we are doing here. I just built another square of 100 using the combination of 7 and 3. Okay, I am going to do the same thing on my paper with colored pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, friends. So I just made the square of seven right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I am going to write on my paper. Seven times seven is equal to forty nine. This is I'm go how I'm going to record it. Okay. Now let's work on the other square that we have right here. Okay. So I am going to write. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So friends, I just made my square of three. So I am going to write here three times three is equal to nine. Now I'm gonna work on my rectangles. Okay friends, look here. So I made my first square of seven and then square of three and the first rectangle seven times three and the second rectangle three times seven. Let's record this together on paper, these equations. Okay. Now we are going to record these equations over here. So, seven times seven plus, I'm putting my squares first, three times three plus seven times three plus, three times seven is equal to 100. Okay, so what is seven times seven? We all know it is 49. Plus three times three gives us nine. Plus seven times three is 21. And so is three times seven is also 21 okay I am going to write this in a special way so we know that 7 taken 7 times 7 is 49 
So I'm going to show you a new way to write the same thing. We will write it as 7 square. So this means that when an, a number has a 2 written high off, that means it should be 7 times 7. So this 2 written high off is called the exponent. So we learned a new term today, the exponent. Plus, I will do the same with my 3. 3 square plus, I will do the same 7 times 3 plus 3 times 7 is equal to 10 squared. 10 times 10 is 100. Okay? Now, friends, we know that 7 square and 3 square are written like this. Okay? With, with the exponent. So, I am going to show you how to write these two equations. So, this is 7 square plus 3 square plus. So, we know the rule that even if we change the multiplicand and the multiplies position, the product is the same. We observed right here, 7 times 3 was 21 and so is 3 times 7. That is 21. So, we will write 2 parenthesis, 7 times 3. You can even write 3 times 7 the way you like is equal to 10 square. So this completes our lesson for square of the binomial. I hope you enjoyed the lesson friends. I would like you to make more combinations with the 100 square. Let me see what can we make. We just work together on the combinations of 7 and 3. How about 9 and 1? 8 and 2? We just worked on 7 and 3, 6 and 4, combinations of 5 and 5. I hope you enjoy working on these combinations and I will see you next time with a new lesson. Thank you for watching.